Hello everyone. How's everyone doing in chat? We are currently going to stream some staff convoys and we're in this channel with a couple of staff members. Say hello there. Hello. Kia ora. Hello. And just for everyone's information, this is a staff convoy and you won't be able to join the server as it is whitelisted for truckers and peace staff only. Should be starting off any moment now, at least in the next couple of minutes. Hello, uh, Rob. Morning. Not quite morning where I am, but morning. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I am running slightly late. I'm loading up now. Oh, you have like. Two and a half minutes ish. Uh, yeah, I was, yeah, I was just kind of making profiles for an event, and that's reinstalled all my DLCs, and I don't even realize I have two gigs of DLCs to install. Thank you everyone in chat. We are on a staff only server, so you won't be able to join us. We will be doing a convoy from where are we? Venezia throughout Italy. Towards Barry. It's a stream in the chat, is it? Yeah. Hello, stream! Being fashionably late as usual. <laughs> okay, so apparently we'll start in two minutes. Uh, and please use English only in chat. Um, what yard is everyone gathered in? Um, ah, I see you guys, I see you. Awesome. everyone Chat. Can everyone hear me and all the other team members in Discord and the music well?
Carboni, no, you can't join this convoy as uh, staff only. You won't be able to join the server. have been on an American truck, so we've decided to switch it up a bit and go back to Euro truck. one that's still to come out. I was just checking the UN and seeing the buy current DLC trailer. I should, I, I should just turn it off now. <laughs> Are you driving with a cargo or not? Damn it, Jam, you sudden braking. I'm actually using an Xbox 360 controller. Well, you're at a wheel. I do not have a, have a wheel. Well, I have one, but I'm just too lazy to hook it up. It's far more easy to just grab a wireless controller. Yeah, I did use the wireless control of something that is a reaction base. <laughs> Especially if your battery dies, there's going to be quite a few implications. Yeah, but it gives you a, the warning is more than in time. 
And also sometimes you just just can act about them destiny a few times on the Xbox. I'm not having a little bit of rage, it suddenly just cut out. I was playing Battlefield earlier, you know, earlier you know, and my battery died. What? In the middle of the map. I'm like, come on. Never had that happen actually. Uh, what type of controller is it? Xbox 360 controller, wireless. So the actual controller then is alright. Never had any issues with it, so, and I've had it for a couple of years now, so I guess it's good. Yeah, Xbox 360 controllers, in my experience, last a long time. I still got all my original ones. Well, it's a Windows version of it. Seven, eight years now. Yeah, I don't seem to be able to get a reading on digital speed though. The reason you won't is you've got a little bit of lag, it's being a little bit up. So I think to I'll go back and forth with different make sure we've got this Because I think I've got it right and then it lags back in. I've got those pretty close. Alright. I'm staying at constant distance to it and it's about 39 miles an hour. And in normal metric standards? I'm British, I'm just like hitting it. <laughs> <laughs> it's roughly around the 62, 63 mark. Yeah, somewhere around there. It's like a dial. But now it's better. We are currently driving with, I think, 20 to 30 staff members in here. Two slash B. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do that while I'm trying to drive through this tunnel while taking a turn. <laughs> 35. 35. Not bad. Rick, <laughs> what? A random event. Uh, all he did, I believe. And it looks like JM just went swerving around one. Yeah, it's best to turn him off and multiply it. There was texting. 
Was it that what it had? Whatever it does, drive us. Who was texting? Chat him. Uh, I'm reading chat and driving, so it's as bad as texting and driving. Well, we can read the chat without taking our eyes off the road. We can still see what roughly what's in front of us reading the chat. Typing in chat. No. That's stream chat. Uh, uh, in uh, which case, yeah, that's just as bad. See, I, I use a track AR, so if I take my eyes off my monitor, then that's how I'm staring at the footwell of my truck. <laughs> uh, I use that as well. One thing you never do is sit yourself facing away from the window and open the curtain. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when your track AR loses uh, signal to the bit on your headset, and then uh, it just goes all weird and wonderful. Yeah, I. The first time I did that, I was actually driving the model, I just stopped the truck there and then next seven. I thought I was actually being no collision hacked. That's how it took. <laughs> oh. I wasn't. There's no one around. <laughs> just panicking over nothing. <laughs> but the camera was shaking the same way it does. Oh, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, no, you, you got to configure it right to get a. Uh, a smooth um, usability with it. Yeah, stop that. I don't think there will be that SCS will ever release a DLC, uh, a map update without it being a DLC. Well, they've been doing, like, you know, they did do a bit. Yeah, they've done the up map updates, right. yeah, but actually a map expansion? Um, well, they might add bits like. Um, Uh, if they add Rain. more to the UK, to Wales, stuff like that in the UK update, that would be as much as you get. Yeah. As free expansion content. Yeah, but they had to do it anyway, because otherwise the port from uh, France wouldn't add up. Hmm. Oh, hang on, actually, they did do, do free map expansions before. Did one Wait. for Venetia. That Wait, was... Yeah, they did a yeah, free we are in the very beginning with yeah. Austria and Northern Italy, yeah, indeed. Didn't they yeah, modify did, um, yeah. France as well, Paris? Yeah, yeah that, that was, was an update, update rather than adding mm. news. But yeah, yeah they point. added Austria and Northern Italy in the past. But then they added going east and from then on it's been paid DLC. However, the DLC content, the quality is improving every single time. This is, it's definitely worth the money, all the newer ones. It's all yeah, well, definitely. I still think Scandinavia has got the most scenic areas. Uh, yeah, I'll have to, mm, some of France is not too bad, it's quite pretty in some areas of France. Yeah. Some of like the, uh, all the forest France bits. Really nice. oh, yeah, the forest bits actually. And the Alps in Austria and Switzerland is also very nice to drive. Yeah, it definitely is. I think Italy is one for one of some of the more confusing roads, I will admit. <laughs> there, there's a point, I don't know if we're going at it on this convoy because I can't remember the route. Yeah, it's all small roads. Is it the dirt there's roads? A, there's a bit in Italy where you've got a highway in a highway. Oh, I know exactly what you're on about. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I believe this is part, at least part of the road that we're taking is uh, a part of which we did the recording for one of the latest videos that came out on the YouTube channel. The drive for one. Yeah. Well, I know we're going down some of like this really chicky zaggy roads at some stage. Are they the dirt ones we're going down or are they concrete ones? Same one, though. Uh, that's, that's good then, because I'll have to pull over and use my mic if we're going to go down the dirt road, unless you just want to hear the vibration of my <laughs> steel. <laughs> we, we should have taken the, the convoy through the marble quarry of Carrara. Uh, <laughs> bam, bam, no, chiki, chiki, bam, bam. The one in, um, near Palma as well. Yeah, the one where you got stuck. 
Je hebt wel, weet je wat er wat willen. Well, you jinxed it. when we start closing on the turns. I actually took one of the special transport trailer back there. How does that work out? No, oh, it's fine. I nearly hit it on the It's actually using the kind of a W now to do it. Post I haven't actually hauled that many special transport trailers yet. I really need to. Basically, do I only that. have the DLC for the accessories. I have actually <laughs> never. I think no. I, I think I've driven a special transport once or twice. Now I think they are very fun to do. However, I have noticed that sometimes the AI does weird the things. The vans will start blocking, but they'll start blocking the roads too late, and you'll get one or two AI trucks away. <laughs> you can do. I had that the first time I did it, and I had that massive staircase. I know um, someone else who's using it on, the, on ATS, or Success has recently been released, and. Um, they had a problem where some AI traffic hit the police escort vehicle on ATS and obviously it, uh, we got a, a, a fail message. Uh, I, I've never had anything hit the escorts, but on the ATS version, I was doing the whole truck chassis, big yeah. um, dump truck. I went past the bus and it was fine. Then the truck suddenly sort of jolt upwards. And to the side, bus is hit the new axle of the chassis, of the dump chassis. <laughs> and I forced the bus backwards, and now my truck is tilted to the side entirely. Uh, wow. About 95%. Right, we've got a fun through that delivery turn coming up. Time road. Uh, that must be really silly, like you get so far on your journey, then get an AI just ruins it. <laughs> Stuck on this turn. No ones, we're all professional drivers. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I do wonder sometimes actually how many people on Trugs UP have actually got a real life truck license. I know, I've got a car license for almost eight years. I've got a car license, and you says car license to me. So I, there's no way of knowing. It's just something I'd like to. Spot by the way, people are behaving on the road in game, whether or not they got a license. Well, I can say that. Well, I've only recently got my license. I find games like this can actually benefit people who haven't got licenses because it, it gives them, I know it's not really experience as such, but it, like they kind of you know learn the basics. You learn things like good weight and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah exactly. That. Exactly. So. I actually talked to my instructor about this while I was doing my lessons. Because I've got a shift to it and everything like that. And he actually has actually helped with my driving. First try. But you still need normal driving. 
Yeah, yeah, you can't just jump in the car and think you're, you're road safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, there, there is there is some slight differences from driving in the game to real life, like the, the clutch. That's what I did. <laughs> That's if, what you did. If you got, all, if you got. That explains a lot. <laughs> I'm driving in real life. If, if you got a wheel that's got the H shift and clutch, that does help. That's what. Yeah, yeah, but you just don't learn your biting points. Cause remember, on on the clutches for the game, there's no feedback on the clutch is there so that you don't get a feel for biting points you get rumble and free your steering wheel but you just don't get that for free you have clutch pedal and things like that so for the, the rumble you know but yeah but if you drive it automatic you don't have that issue that's most lazy man lazy most cars car. in the uk are manual yeah if you come to the uk you'll be very disappointed if you get inside it it does is one thing that does Confuse me is we automate everything else nowadays, but yet we don't have automatics in standard cars. Well, they're out there, just they're just not a popular choice, and I, I, they're, they're more expensive to run. Rotax, insurance, uh, fuel. So that's why people still prefer the manuals in the UK. Yeah, mine's an automatic, but it's a leasing car, so for insurance, company insurance, and such, you know. They take uh, automatic. All the, but for example, like, they say, "Oh, you're okay to use your phone in the car as long as it's free," because they are taking it out of the steering wheel. But yet, all the cars have a thing that you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. When you think, when you put it that, it does that it does start sounding a little more stupid. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I will have to admit to that. I can I can see the sense behind it though, you know, taking your hands off the wheel to use your phone, you've also got to look at your phone. You don't exactly yeah. have to look at a gear lever. If you know how to drive, then you don't need to look at your gear lever to change gear. Yeah, it's just yeah but people using awesome hands free phone are still long correct. No, I mean, just overall their focus is pretty bad. They can't multitask. But, no, but that's just, I think that's just our world's generation, as a lot of people can't multitask. Well, like you can do multiple right. things at once, but you can only truly focus on one. Mm. If you're trying to talk to someone, then you're focused on that. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, my phone's constantly connected through Bluetooth as well, but... It's mostly because my watch has Bluetooth, so it's connected to that, and because the Bluetooth is on anyway, it connects to my car. But I, the chances of me picking up a phone call while I'm driving are very, very slim. Unless I know it's like really something important or work-related, then I will pick up the phone, but I generally won't even pick up a phone while I'm driving. Well, a lot of phones nowadays have this like uh, driving sense, like they can sense if you're like traveling over certain speeds, can't they? Using your GPS, mm. and they, they block notifications or automatically respond saying, I'm currently driving, I'll message you when I'm at my destination or something along those lines. But that doesn't work in your case, for example, if someone's on a bus or a train. It, uh, it still happens. It, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, obviously, for my phone. If I'm on the bus traveling somewhere, I still get. Uh, if I try and unlock my phone, it'll go. It'll pop up saying, you know, confirm you're not driving. You press that, and it'll actually unlock your device. Um, and that's. It does that when I'm on a train. Does it when I'm on a bus? Whenever I'm traveling anywhere, and I'm not driving. It doesn't have to be plugged into a, into like a either a. It doesn't have to be connected to Bluetooth. It doesn't have to be connected via a box cable or something. It it can. It just uses your GPS and just detects your travel speed. Yeah, it's the same thing how Pokemon Go works. You know. Yeah, they uh, detect a certain speed, and once you go over a certain threshold, then you get a notification. Yeah, that's like one way how they're combating issues with phones, isn't they? I, I don't know what car make it is, but I know one car manufacturer. Do you, know, do you know how you get like little cent center console bits with like armrests? And you yeah. can only get storage underneath mm. them. I know that one car manufacturer made it. So um, in one of like that, that the, the armrest, you open it up, and the top opens up. You put your phone in there. There's like a wireless charging pad, which also connects your phone to like the audio and the Bluetooth and all that kind of stuff. 
and basically if you close the lid down it then connects your phone up to the to the in car systems and then so that means your phone you can physically not actually reach for it grab it in any way shape or form it's out like locked away until you actually stop the car from of park yeah uh, well, it doesn't, well, it doesn't lock the compartment, but basically, um, it basically puts the bit of your phone out of your reach. Um, and basically, it's main connected to your car's systems for the hands free. Which I thought was quite a, quite a clever idea of way about doing it. Because that means uh, your phone is locked away in that compartment. You can't hear it ring, you can't hear it vibrate, it'll go through your phone car systems. Sinker, you, you got some bad lag. Have I? Yes. Oh, I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I am so sorry. <laughs> uh, my, my internet has been potato for like the last day or two for some weird reason. Yeah. Earlier, this, earlier this week I was uh, on training for work and uh, the Wi-Fi at the place was ridiculously fast. I think I got 600 up and 400 down. No. 400 up, 600 down. Like, what the hell? See Fringy. Ollie, there is currently around 35 staff member in this convoy. <coughs> yeah, it looks like Andrew Ender is uh, throwing down the banhammer. Be extremely afraid. <laughs> yeah, if you get uh, thrown out by a a uh, game manager banhammer then uh... you're done that's it just run nice and... it's like uh instant death <laughs> i'm just gonna cruise up this hill like the gap between us sinker Lag on the hill. Oh, you hit twice already. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just crawling way back up in front of me now. Just, just got your foot poised over that brake pedal. Yeah, at least it I was laying on that. It's just me suddenly breaking. <laughs> it's just 
the slight elderly guy in front of you, he'll soon, uh, have <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be, uh, doing tight, tight turns for a couple, for a while at least. Hey, it makes, makes the convoy more interesting, because you've got the lag. Still over 900 kilometers to go. Oh, you're not bad. Can we, can we press up our windows at the start below us as we go to the bridge? Oh no, it's a Neon Leon in chat! <gasps> Run, hide. Maybe not hit that little fence post. What does that little fence post ever do to you? It was looking at me in a weird way. <laughs> 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 like it wanted to damage my truck. Ah, I was still there. Really? I heard it go bang. And then I felt the truck go boop. It's been over it. That's probably your puncture. <laughs> I don't know, I remember a long, long time ago that if a player hits a sign or a fence post or whatever and destroys it, it would be synced, but now it doesn't do that anymore. I think it used to do it back in like when the first ATS racetrack came out. Yeah. Uh, Robert. That's why you can optimize it. It doesn't. It's not really important. Yeah. Yeah, Robert. There is around 150, 170 staff members, if I remember correctly. You'll find out if you go to the. Staff index on the forums. Yeah, just do that. Information way. staff is in there. About three times the size it was when I joined. Why day there were still under 50 staff members? That's when we played TMP, but you know, going uphill both ways. Before the ATS release, the ATS was supported by TNP a couple of days, wasn't it? Yeah, it was all, well, almost instantly actually. And that's also when the name got changed to Truck SMP. It's probably the head to the release of um, ATS. It wouldn't have made sense to keep the name as ETS2 MP. I still remember the good old days of ETS MP with being really busy at Oxnard. Oh yeah, <laughs> those days. <laughs> yep. What do you mean by infinite money bug? Oh, that might be where he has AI drivers potentially working for him. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Then the and, then, and then the time sync issues with the server and your local save. Yeah, once you sleep or fast travel, then. You get all the money. The money will be calculated again, yeah. But it's only on those moments, so. But remember? Yeah, that... you'd be better. I remember that there was off. something, though. You'd be best off just firing all your AI drivers. That'll stop you from earning more money. Unless yeah. you're doing your own drives. That's the only way about it. And make quick saves have less of a stutter. But yeah, it's an improved save time, doesn't it? Yeah, because the AIs have got an entire job log for each one. That does actually get yeah, substantial. Yeah, unfortunately I fired all my drivers. It wasn't pretty. Lay them all off. He had a protest and everything. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of drivers that are going to fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, 
I had a couple of hundred on my profile as well at one stage. <laughs> that was a time consuming. Uh, I got five -ish. Uh, Yeah, Real Man Gaming World. Um, Snow mod usually comes to multiplayer around mid to end of December, but still remains to be seen if it will be active this year. Because it takes a whole lot of server resources to actually properly distribute it to everyone. As you can see in the blog post from last year. Yeah, you can check it in the in one of the blog posts at the beginning of the year. That was quite intriguing. It's quite worrying seeing how much resources we use. It just shows how many people love the game and, you know, play TNT. How many all banner appeals get answered? Just not right away because not everyone is available constantly. And we have a lot of reports, we have a lot of bans, and we also have a lot of appeals to handle. the only way that we were able to distribute it at the end of last year was because we got a sponsoring from 10gigabit.io and even that server was barely hanging on yeah we as some people say that server ended up all the time I think it was at almost max traffic all the time yeah, mm -hmm. the first thing is, when it, when such a thing first gets released, everyone needs to download it, and once an update comes out, everyone downloads it at once. So in some cases, you could say that if such a thing such as Winter Mod comes out, it's probably best to like wait a day or two to download the Winter Mod itself, because in those situations, you get the options while downloading to get only the core ETS and ATS changes and don't download the 700 megabyte winter mod. Well that's what it was last year given the yeah, map. The year so before that as well that Grimes mod generally stays around 700 megabyte. Because we've had Italy added on since haven't we? Italy was actually in it last time, but it? Baltic, yeah. it's going to be yeah, Baltic, so. Baltic's and probably going to be got, up uh, like, got released just after Windermott was added, or simultaneously. You, know, you can see um, some of Italy in the Windermott police train. Yeah, uh, I thought that. <laughs> yeah, you see, I the, you can't remember what city it is, but it's one with the lifting bridges. Livorno is it? Wait, the one that thirty three isn't beta yet. Yeah, it's, it's out at the moment. Is a public beta out? Yeah. Mm. No, it's a public beta. Yeah, I thought I thought it was only the the uh, tester beta. I think they've got a lot of stuff to test, so they thought it's have more people than yeah. I do like the idea of the uh, cloud-based save games. Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah. That was long yeah. the way to. Or, uh, what are you doing? I'm going out with the other one, so. Well, it depends on how the cloud saves are going to work, because if you use other profiles, other things, it depends on how they're going to be handled. Yeah, handle. because if they're using the same system as World of Crux thing, then I'm concerned. 
because the world of truck sync can be really, really tedious and slow. Hmm. Can. Uh, might do it for Steam, so. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. It is, it is through Steam. But are they still going to have the old directories available to people? Yeah, so a, it's going to yeah. be an optional thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's good then. Good it's been... Especially for people who like to save, edit, and... Yeah, yeah I think I would enable no, both. You can, you can still get the save, edit stuff without it. You yeah, but it it's edits ed ed your profile, though. If it's on the cloud, you can't get to the bars, can you? There's still ways you can do it, like... A modded truck, you can put that as a mod for a truck dealer, and then just buy it. Yeah, that's that. I, I, I've done that before. Yeah, so you can still get high trucks and stuff in cloud-based profiles. I'll, I'll tell you what, the one truck I hate to save editing is the new Scania. I just don't understand. I don't understand the new points. I really don't. Like, it's all... They've it's split just it all up into different bits to make it customizable, which is the version have all the bits. Yeah, see, that's, that's what confuses me, because I've made workshop mods for the garages for truck setups and I've done it for the Volvos, all fine. And I want to do it for the new Scania's, but I just just can't get it to work. It frustrates me. So uh, it's it's been on my to-do list for a long time. Um, I'll PM you later the way that might help you with that. Thank you very much. But I've been using the last double. I mean greatly appreciate it. It'll save me a headache because I've tried many times and failed many times. Yeah, well of times Blitz you need to opt out of all betas if you want to play Truckers MP at the current version. Uh, anyway. Have a very nice stream guys. Enjoy the film boys. See ya. Hey. See you Paul. See Take ya. care Paul Runner. You can't do anything about that. What's being said on the stream? Yeah, it was a comment from someone who said that to please remove the garbage from Italian roads, but if I remember correctly, currently in Italy there is a little bit of a garbage problem in certain cities. Yeah. And also with the bad weather, I've seen. Uh, satellite imagery and helicopter imagery from areas where forests are completely annihilated. Is that we have some uh, more corners here? Right? Degree turns right after each other. Yeah. This is the pain when you run into people going down the roads. I've done this one in winter mod with a pretty ton trailer. Well, them trailers, them trailers tend to have steer relax on those. So they kind of help on the corners. Actually, on this road, it makes it even worse. Oh really? Yeah. Because it's so narrow that it swerves out. And gets stuck. Uh, good point. Oh, they're long run, they actually, yeah. What's up? Sirwax was on too bad. Yeah, well, the first corner coming in was annoying, but. Yeah, well, I'm going into the second corner. 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 Uh, on 
EO1 and 3. There are no cars. EO1 is the most simulation like server that we have. Where speed is limited to 110 km an hour everywhere. And I believe 60 in cities. And then you have EO3, which is basically the same as EO2, but without cars. I remember back when EO1 used to be the, uh, the most full server on Trump, Yeah, because everyone wanted to play normal. Yeah, and then it all switched. <laughs> and then everyone was like, no, we need to drive GTA style, what the <laughs> hell happened? Then everyone switched from Europort to Caladuisburg Road. Yeah, and even with Europort at its worst, it was still better than that road for some reason. Oh yeah, definitely. We need to find a new road or a new port yeah. we can go to. Well, I think one of the main parts about one of the main differences between CD and Europort is the fact that CD is such a massive area compared to Europort. Yeah. Mm. Well, it did switch from the CD road once when Scandinavia, when they yeah. had the double there, I think. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it was when it was double the, trails uh, got released, road. but that only lasted like yeah. one and a half weeks. Yeah. That was cool though, I did like the uh, police controlling the um, the traffic lights. Yeah, basically that was because the lights, there was an issue with uh, lighting. <laughs> yeah. And the fact people are ignoring traffic light rules as well. Example. Well, money. AI traffic is in the works, as you can see on that little teaser that was posted on the YouTube channel this summer. But there is still a whole lot of work needed to be done before that can be actually put on a server. Gaming um, can't really say what's in the works. There are, there are a couple of nice things in the works, but it's all still in the works and we can't really disclose it yet. Soon, team. Well, soon or later, it will be revealed. At some point. Yeah. At this point, we are not. In the ability to share anything just yet. I think. Uh, I think it's more for it. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it was only a matter of time, though, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. who flipped? Who flipped? <laughs> yeah, to go back to Kelly. Everyone was putting Light of God ban, so I'm going to assume it's Light of God. Uh, <laughs> 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 that makes it so much more amusing. <laughs> With a movie quote from a not so super popular movie to some people, so uncivilized. <laughs> I mean, Rotterdam was super busy and people were queuing up in traffic and people were getting annoyed about the traffic. For some reason, people were still acting civilized. Yeah. On the Kelly Duisburg road, it's most like a free for all, I think. Uh, I, I feel like just, I reckon if we found a new port, we'd be good to go again. I mean, don't be even us, but I'm sick of seeing the same scenery on CD Road. I think but, it's... I think as well it stands to the fact that um, uh, most of Europort was actually a dual carriageway, so you didn't have that many yeah. um, wrong way drivers. Yeah, well, then you but now we've seen just at the end you road. have the uh, 90 degree turn on the intersection, yeah. mm -hmm. and then the road splits, and people then get stuck when the road joins at the uh, entrance. Yeah. Mm. But no, whereas no, 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 no. the entire Calais Duisburg road is just one um, single lane road, so everyone just don't take well, That's why Calais end of um, City Road is good because it's dual carriageway. Where Duisburg just gets completely screwed up. Yeah. Because it's all single. Supposedly it's going to be getting changed with the Germany region as Germany revisited is already alive and there is no change. They said they were um, 
phasing it in with a few updates, actually. So. Yeah, they've now done northern Germany and then center and south, I guess. We'll see what happens. I don't know, we need to go find a new small road and just direct people there. <coughs> oh. Go to that one. Come down to Italy. No, everyone has to deal with <laughs> Oh, well. I'm looking forward to the uh, Beyond the Baltic season later. Oh, yeah. New trailers in yeah. Finland as well. Yeah. I want to see if they add the snow weather to the game. That well, they the haven't thing. done it for Norway and Sweden, so I guess yeah. they won't do it for yeah. Finland either. I wish they would. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, from the parts that I've seen from Baltic DLC, they never go anything higher than more north than it's currently in the game. Some screenshots for it look um kind of it wasn't grass or green like we're driving past now but it was more snow is green. I think you know I was half asleep at the time. The most northern city in Baltic DLC is St. Petersburg I believe. Oh, St. Petersburg actually looks very nice in the screenshots. Yeah. A lot of people with the uh with the beta, because there's a bug in the beta tunnel where when you drive on certain roads, your truck starts to shake out quite intensely. <laughs> and there's a, joke, there's a joke going around saying that uh, that's the Russian roads on, on the Facebook group. So. I would say there's a Belgian road. <laughs> roads in Belgium are terrible. Whenever I'm coming I'm back from a, a vacation, especially when, for example, I'm coming back from a ski or snowboard trip, because then I'm usually traveling by bus, and it travels overnight, so I get back in Belgium around 5, 4, 5 a.m., mm -hmm. and Ooh. even though I'm sleeping, I can always tell when we cross the border. <laughs> <laughs> even with those travel coaches having super soft suspension, you still feel it. So, yeah, I mean, we're back in Belgium, in UK, time to wake up. In the UK, it depends where you go. If you go around the, uh, if you go around the um, south of England, especially like uh, London, mm -hmm. the roads tend to be a lot better than if you head to somewhere like Wales or Scotland. I went to Scotland some years ago, and it was also with a travel agency with a coach. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we were driving around Loch Lomond. Oh, yeah. It wasn't. Well, they say it was dual carriageway, but at the end, it, the road became so narrow because on one end you've got the lake, and on the other end you've just have a rock face. Yeah. And it became so narrow that there was people coming from the other direction, and meanwhile our bus had to pass through. Mm -hmm. well, that was fun. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of um, insanely narrow roads in Scotland. I've only been the out of there twice though, so I don't remember. I have to say, in the UK, we're slightly weird because we have um, what's called devolved powers. Yeah, you're you driving on the wrong side of the road, that's weird at that zone. <laughs> yeah. But in the UK, we politically we have devolved powers, and Wales and Scotland basically get their own assembly and they can decide on some issues. Yeah. And infrastructure isn't that high on their list compared to England. That's why roads in England tend to be a lot better. Yeah, but then again, when you're in Scotland, there is a lot of money invested in energy. Mm. There's wind farms all over the place. And massive ones added. Well, around me actually, in the north, north of Wales, they've actually built, I think it's the biggest one in the world now on the sea. On the sea. I remember when I went to Scotland, we were, the first day we were going to Glasgow. Yeah. And when we were driving over there, I was like, there's a massive wind farm on the hills, and it was like for miles. 
<laughs> and I are in Belgium and people complain about one windmill. Yeah. <laughs> Tends not to be that bad in the UK. But there have been some complaints about it. Because there are other things we could do. We could obviously build a line up to Iceland and borrow some of their energy, because that's one of the as well. So. Yeah, but Iceland works a little bit different because they've got the hot water springs which they can use to one, heat up the roads to keep them uh, free from ice and snow, and two, for energy. There's a thing, in Iceland they generate much more power than they use. <laughs> yeah. Because they've yeah. only got, I think it's 300,000 residents. Yeah. So in, given the size of Iceland, that is an insanely low population. It's the same in Greenland actually. Yeah. I mean, a good example for how what caused it would be, I guess, Norway. So the southern parts of Norway is like very densely populated, especially around Oslo. Yeah. But then when you go up north, you've got like a population of one person per square kilometer. Mm. Sometimes even less. The Norwegian people I find tend to be a lot more. Um economical than a lot of other countries so you, you can see around that they're all driving electric cars unlike other countries I, I genuinely when I went to Oslo I saw about 10 Teslas in about a mile yeah. and compared to other countries you, you just wouldn't see that at all yeah but the reason for it is when I was uh, asked why like how do you have so many electric cars and the reason for it is that in Norway apparently you have to pay a lot of car tax if you're driving on standard fuel, sometimes up to 100%. That's what they told me, and that's, that's obs then an obvious reason why you would have more electric cars. Yeah. I suppose it depends, though, because some European countries are putting tax on fuel to make it higher. So I'm not sure if I think Spain are doing it. Which is a bit weird, actually, because do you know where Gibraltar is, and do you know what yeah. Gibraltar is? Yeah. I know. Basically. A lot of um, Spanish citizens come over the border to Gibraltar to buy their fuel because it's so much cheaper than in Spain. <laughs> I suppose it depends. Because... So, um, Fracking as well in the UK has recently started taking off again. Yeah. And I swear, with fracking, it depends how it's implemented. Because um, I don't think it's been implemented correctly because it's in a quite a vastly populated area. The problem with fracking is that it destabilizes the uh, Earth's upper layer. Yeah. Because you're taking pressure out of it and everything that was keeping all those layers up is then being removed. Well, I suppose that's why it's been causing so many earthquakes. But <laughs> well, they're not... Yeah. They're not major... That, that's why you don't really see fracking on um, plate boundaries, because if you were to do that on a plate boundary, it would be probably... It would be insane. Disastrous, yeah. yeah. I'm also going to have to stop here somewhere, because for some reason my music stopped playing. Um. YouTube, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I don't really use YouTube music. I normally either listen to the radio or Spotify. Yeah, two options. Hello there, Ryzen. How are you? The only problem is, like, I need to find a place to stop here.
now. So YouTube detected that I, that I wasn't looking at it for a while, so we decided, hey, uh, we stopped. Do you want to continue? <laughs> Why would you implement such a thing? Have you bought the uh, the new YouTube Premium? Nah. Yes. It doesn't even add any benefit. I bought it because I had a discount code on it. From someone was advertising it, gave me a discount code, so I thought, yeah, you know what, why the hell not? So I bought it for I think it was five British pounds. And uh, so I've got it for a year, and it's all right in terms of music. And but honestly, there's not much different to like Spotify or anything like that. But does it actually give you any benefits over just? Normally opening YouTube. Well, you can yeah, download okay. and save video to videos to your phone. Well, but, but you can also do that people. just with a standard YouTube account. They're pretty well. It's a terms for iPhone users as well because you don't really have that option on iPhone. Oh, yeah. you can. Yeah, you <laughs> do have that on Android. You've had it yeah. for a while to be able to watch it offline. I know there are, there are some apps on Android as well that let you do that. Um, Mehmet, please only use English in stream chat. Wait, Sharky, is that right? Is Jimmy Butler being traded off to Philadelphia? What? The driver is <laughs> Kappa. I got extremely close to the Senka and fell back instantly. <laughs> it's like, hey, that Senka, uh, nope. a Xbox 360 controller actually. Do you not have a wheel? I have a wheel but I haven't configured it on this computer. <laughs> okay. Like, eh, but it's, it's also a racing wheel so it doesn't have a full 360 radius. Oh, uh, which one is it? Ew. It's an 
It's a very old Logitech one that I've had for a very, 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 very long time. <laughs> that needs upgrading. It still works. Works perfectly. Works perfectly fine when I'm driving F1. That's... I, I, like, with, with driving sims, you need more of like a 360 degree turn on the wheel. It's not when normal, you're racing. No, for racing now, you're fine. Definitely fine with that. We're playing things like team pick and each yeah, race cars all don't even have a 360 degree wheel so no they're only built one tin ish yeah you get a g29 with like 150 on the deals i have a uh, 27 and the, apart from where the buttons are placed there's no difference between that, that yours is the xbox version isn't it yeah so, yeah mine's the playstation Mm. Now, now the PlayStation one I find has like actually it actually has like one or two extra buttons compared mm. to the Xbox One, so that's why I brought it. I, I I used to own Xbox One. Yeah. Um, I don't no longer. I sold it. Uh, but I used to own Xbox One, but I brought a PlayStation controller just for the extra buttons on it. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, for something as minor as that, I'm not going to switch my entire wheel. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You might want to stick with it. <laughs> yeah. Just a, just a tad over here. Just a, just a tad. One thing I wish would work though is the um, the G uh, the old G27 shifter. Uh, I so wish that works with the uh, the new wheel, so you can get a combination <laughs> of the both. But it doesn't, because I, I looked in that when looking for a wheel. Um, so I found a G27 wheel, um, which was broken, but the shifter was in good nick. So I was like, do I? Don't I? Do I? Don't I? <laughs> And then, uh, research later found that uh, no, that's a bad mistake and a waste of money. <laughs> yeah. You can never have too many buttons. That's very true. Mm, how easy or difficult is it to join the admin team? Well, it depends on which role, actually. Getting in as community moderator or support team is relatively easy, you just have to wait until there is a recruitment session open to join as game moderator, then you actually have to be invited. And if you want to join upper staff, it's even more difficult because then you only get an invitation when there is a room and you need to be in the team. Our staff is only being recruited from inside the team. Got to save your time as the level guy first. I suppose that's how it'd work in real life, though, isn't it? Mm. Well, you can't exactly be can join quiet as CEO like, you know. from just you, yeah, you, exactly, yeah. They're, like Google aren't just going to put out like. I'm just gonna put the job up, so yeah, they're, they're gonna, probably gonna put <coughs> the deputies in. I have heard of companies doing that where they'll hire just a whole new CEO and yeah, board direct as well. Hmm. But they get, you know, people with experience of being a CEO, etc. It's <coughs> with experience, fair enough, but when you're in an online environment like this, there's not oh, very, no. very many ways to check that. <laughs> Uh, you gotta save your time as a little guy within uh, within the team and then work your way up. Yeah. It's fair enough really. That, that's how it's always been, so <laughs> That background noise from there was my metal just less. When's your um, charity event, Sinker? Uh, sorry? When's your charity event? I did not oh. catch that again. I am... When's your charity event? When, oh, what day's your oh, charity event? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I... <laughs> sorry, I, I, I was... Wow, okay, I was not with it there for a second. 
<laughs> um, it is uh, uh, next Friday. Um, 16th. Mm. So, uh, yeah, uh, pretty much everything is done and dusted. Uh, that's why I was slightly late arriving here. I was uh, sorting out profiles for the event. Ooh. Fingers yeah. crossed uh, there's not a new update. <laughs> if, if, there, if there is, I will have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that there shouldn't be. Fingers crossed, touch wood, and all the rest of it. <laughs> How long is the event this year? It's uh, uh, still 24 hours. Uh, we're not going to be doing the original of um, whatever. 100. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When, when that was not... amazing. I love that. <laughs> I was there for that. <laughs> We're, uh, we're we're not going to be replicating that any time soon, unless um, <laughs> unless we get a lot of people on board, a lot of dedicated people on board. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, it really it's not worth it's not worth the risk, considering you can get agreements with people on board with a 24-hour event a lot more easier. It's yeah. easy, easier to staff and everything as well. It's fair enough, really. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. usual twenty-four. That's fine. Keep 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 the nice and simple. But I'll do what I've some bits in between. I've been to every single one of the uh, children we loved, so I'm trying the hardest not to miss it. Awesome. It's greatly appreciated. Yeah. Even as people manage to attend it, it's uh it's a feat feat among amongst itself. Yeah. Or a bonus that's on a set day for me, so I'll come along in a team. Awesome. Looking forward to see you there. Wait, what time do you say it was? It starts at... Oh god, this is really bad. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> My god, you don't even uh... know your own event times. Oh, oh I forgot. <laughs> uh, 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 Noob. Trust, trust me, when you've had, like, you know, going to bed at 1 o'clock in the morning and waking up at 6 for work, Past couple of days, you'll 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 soon find how tired it becomes pretty quickly. Oh, trust me, um, I, know. I know the feeling. <laughs> that, that's a normal day for me. In my work as community uh, manager, then I usually get to bed like twelve one, and my alarm goes at five thirty. Oof. It's uh, it starts at uh, seventeen hundred GMT on this uh, Friday. Hello there, uh, James, but, but that's for the truck best. The actual convoy begins at eighteen hundred. At 6 a.m. the truck first starts. On yes. Saturday. Yeah, uh, on the on on Friday. 16th uh, yeah, the but start. converting it to my time zone, it's 6 a.m. on Saturday. Okay. Are there any uh, prizes for truck fest? There will be prizes for the truck fest. There are deals. There's going to be obviously the Chrome DLC, Italy DLC. Obviously, we will be giving away a Baltic. If you want to see DLC? Obviously, we haven't got an early code, unfortunately. Um, oh, okay. But uh, when it is released, some lucky person or VTC will uh, be gaining that DLC. Fair enough. Alright, Matt, we're going to turn up and we're going to win it. <laughs> <laughs> if yeah, you can no. get up that early. <laughs> yeah. The old two people that are showing up at the truck fest. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's a record. I mean, that'll get you a turnout just by saying that you get Baltic Sea. Boom. I, I, uh, I, I can't remember which. I don't know what, what, what we're doing is we haven't done it yet, but we've got all our DLCs and we're going to be throwing them into a hat and then working out what we're to get for what from um, the category. So we don't, we, I don't know what reward that's going to end up against at the moment. Do not put it against best attendance. <laughs> you know exactly who will win that. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> actually, actually, no. That 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 uh, group is not actually attending. They haven't confirmed the truck fest slot. So, um, oh. so actually, yeah. Uh, Be someone different this time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you hear that, Alistair? Then that yeah. means that actually needs to step up. You're right. Because we've got enough drivers for that. I think we've got all the all the slots taken, um, but I've had to make two additional ads so far. So. Okay. Whereabouts is it? Which um, 
it's uh it's ACC in um Turney. Oh, okay. it's like in Italy. Um Yeah. I know what you're on about. Yeah, it's um ACC's got a nice big kind of like ring road around the actual company itself with loads of space. So it, we've used that company and the space surrounding. I know what you're on about. We've, we've basically commandeered the city. We, we went to the mayor's <laughs> office and uh, and asked them very nicely. If they, if they have a mayor. I don't know, we spoke to someone. Nah, I can't imagine you asked them nicely. I can imagine you turned around and said, we're taking it over. <laughs> In the story. Oh, jeez, Krulex was lagging. We, we offered them TMP bucks for the uh, use of the system. Oh, TMP bucks. <laughs> When the uh, when we get an official uh, currency, the economy we update. Which... <laughs> yeah. Did someone say they were getting a cryptocurrency? Oh. TMB bucks, cryptocurrency. Stop leaking, guys. <laughs> 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 uh, Who lazy you're lagging? Gaining way too fast on the sinker. Back off, back off. Oh, I can brake, I can make it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> You'll probably tap the brakes and come flying 100 meters back into me. <laughs> wipes out the whole TMP staff team. Uh... <laughs> I'd rather you didn't, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Add to wish list. <laughs> <laughs> I've got three of the staff members in front of me, all tailgating each other, and I'm just backed off very far because I could tell something's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> this is what not to do. Yeah. See, so, yeah, right. So we're doing what not to do, right? Ready, sink it. I do hate that on the um, on Calaisburg Road when I've got my tag specifically set to my lag or something like that and someone just deliberately tailgates me. Oh. <laughs> what pays attention to that? Exactly. Well, yeah, I, I would never know. No, I, no one in this channel would be stupid enough to tailgate me, would they? <laughs> no, no. I just like the truck. The new Scania has a really nice design. At least in my opinion. Looks like Matt's tailgating dude in front of him. Yeah, he's been quite close for quite some time. Man, stop tailgating. Oh, you want me to slam on the brakes? <laughs> You'll just give me a moment to uh, slam on my brakes first yeah. to get away from the yeah. before you do that. <laughs> yeah, let me just hit F1 and uh, we'll see what happens. I wonder what DLC uh, CS have in plans after the Baltic DLC. Well, it would be nice if they were to do Ireland or Spain and Portugal. I think if it were Ireland, they'd do the entire British Isles. Because you've also got the Isle of Man, you've got Jersey, you've also got um, Guernsey yeah. as well. Yeah. They've got a lot of, part a lot of parts of uh, Scotland, Wales, and even England that they just haven't implemented. <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 yeah, the UK definitely needs a. Uh, a if they could up. overhaul the UK and then release a DLC for for that whole area, that would be nice. Apart from Plymouth, they haven't touched the UK since they pretty much haven't touched the UK since UK Truck Simulator. I'm hoping they bring out. Um, I want to see the new Renault in game. I'm expecting there to be some sort of number plate change with Brexit, especially. That's going to be interesting to see what happens with that, actually. It's either going to be complete removal of GB in the EU stars, or it's, instead of the EU stars, it's going to be the EU flag. No, GB will stay because that's the uh, NATO code. It depends, because uh, I've I've seen Russian drivers driving in the UK, and they haven't had the uh, Russian RU in their uh, place.
Who's driving without lights behind me? <laughs> so who's about to probably get kicked by having no lights on? <laughs> well, I lagged into the <laughs> oh. What the hell just happened? I just. What the hell are you doing? I wasn't even. I, I don't even have lag. But if anyone's ever been to the UK, you'll know that you don't really get cars with the EU stars on. That you shouldn't. I've been to like the UK once. I lived here. You just see, yeah. You just don't see anything on there. No, but just, they're, they're just white and yellow. Like, yeah. Just, there's they no don't other symbols of anything. Yeah. You only, you only really need it if you're going abroad. That that's the only reason you never need it. But otherwise, if you're in the UK, you don't need it. I still don't understand the point in the UK where motorbikes don't have to have front plates. The cars do. Yeah, but. One, one thing which is never, never. I don't know uh, a single country that has front plates on motorbikes. Yeah, uh, I don't know anywhere else. No, but the bikes don't no. need them. I'm pretty sure other vehicles wouldn't. But there we go. Just old. <clears throat> front number plates are just the way our cameras work. Though. So rather than, especially in America, you don't really have as many or anywhere near the amount of um, speed cameras as you do in the UK. They just have police everywhere. Yeah, but they also can't drive. That's very true. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm being picked on. <laughs> have you ever seen the, um, I think it was in season two of the Grand Tour, when they were racing from New York to um, Falls? I really um, need to watch season two. Very Jeremy much. Clarkson was getting sick to death of the amount of lane hogging. <laughs> Cause I don't, I don't, I don't think it's a law over there. I know here in Belgium, if you're lane hogging and you're not merging into the right lane, on the, in the right-hand lane, if the road is clear, then you can get fined. Yeah, they can shoot. It's a big thing. It's the same, the same in the UK. Uh, there's quite a famous video actually where police car actually goes up behind a, a lane hogger, flashes his lights, the lane hogger slams on the brakes, and then the uh, police pulls him straight over. Yeah, some people aren't the smartest. Hmm. I suppose another thing in, it, in the United States we don't have as well, but they're in Europe a lot more the roundabouts. Hmm. They're starting to put more roundabouts in over. Yeah, but from what I've seen on YouTube, not many people, st still not many people know how to use them. <laughs> I, I can agree with that. A lot of people <laughs> don't know how to use them, and a lot of people hate them. Yeah. I like it. It makes the traffic, I think, flow better. Oh, heck yeah. Well, it makes it flow better if you know how to use them. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Unless people don't give way to you on the roundabout and the just come out anyway. Yeah. But that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mass PC yeah. Gaming, nice to hear that you've liked the stream so far. <clears throat> we are almost right. at our destination. We've got, um, that's mostly roundabouts. There's, you know, we have traffic lights here and there, but it's mostly roundabouts. Mm. There's no amount of people that just can't use them. Never let America see the magic roundabout in Swindon. Oh. <laughs> Let's just say, like, I think just everyone will just get out of their cars and just... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. that's amazing. There's a what? There's a roundabout in a roundabout? Wow. Oh, no, one roundabout going the wrong way, and eight roundabouts going the right way. <laughs> yeah. How to troll an okay, American... that just sounds confusing. How to oh, troll an American while in a car. Just in a manual. <laughs> Imagine SCS adding that to a UK update. Oh, it, oh that'd be the best. <laughs> oh, I, I would pay big money to see that. <laughs> I would never go near it. Well, there, you go. there That's are the roundabouts and roundabouts here. Uh, when you're in uh, the people of France, you'll see there are a couple of points where you have that. I think another thing in the UK that you don't really have a, a average speed checks. Oh, they are the most yeah. annoying things, I think. We're, oh, yeah. we're getting that uh, now. Oh, yeah, we have it in Belgium as well. 
what, they what are the most. What? You know, like all smart motorways as well, you have average oh. speed check. Oh. <laughs> and, it, and it's variable as well. So if, if the uh, matrix sign's been set at 60, you have to be doing 60 or they'll send you a fine. Yep. Uh, the amount of people who like do the average speed cameras where they think, oh, I'll bomb it at 80 and I'll do 30 in the last couple of miles, that'll average yeah. it out. And then, then they complain that they, I got a ticket for speeding. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I suppose you have that a lot compared to um, America. You have a lot more cameras in your, as opposed to police. Yeah. There is a ball up right there. Someone's false you... feedback is going off. He's off roading. Oh my god. <laughs> there isn't even any uh, off road here. Someone just I, crashed. I, 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 I wake up. What's this right for me? Oh, is he parked up against this wall? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna become a part of Matt here. Ooh. Uh, what the hell are people doing here? No, I might wait for these guys. What the oh, hell? What are these guys doing? Parking. Alright, crew leaks. Shut up. Come on, Matt. Nice little gap for you. I'm just gonna wait for Matt to park up the last exit digital. I'm trying. <laughs> Not a lot of room here. Oh my good lord. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no Let's struggle here. It's an organized chaos, guys. I'm just gonna drive around. <laughs> yeah, we totally know what we're doing, Kappa. I'm just going to drive around until everyone else parks up. We're professionals, we're going to Matt, have you just disconnected your trailer? Oh my god! <laughs> that is like GT. Oh, this is loud. Oh, this is loud. Uh, I feel bad for the people with double trailers. <laughs> I'm not watching this from top down, it's pretty hilarious. This oh was here. Everyone's like, parked up really nice, yes. then you have... <laughs> someone like, way through it. Yeah, someone's like, currently parked across everyone else. There we go. I mean, if you go, that guy doesn't know how to park a uh, double chair. Then you've got all proper tra tra trailers, then you have Kilowa in there with like a meat trailer. <laughs> oh, someone just crashed straight into the bottom. Rumor right. has it that he was so broke that he had no money left to buy a proper trailer. My, my tab currently reads 12 people, but by the time I have window, I know that there's more than 12 people there. <laughs> <laughs> Also planning to do another Q and A stream really soon, maybe the next couple of weeks at least, and then we will see you all next time.